Merry Catmas! I'm in a different place than I normally am. Usually I'm here, but right now I'm here because it's a vlog. Flashback. So we gotta back up here a little bit. As much as I hate to admit it, I am always getting requests for more of my dad on the vlogs. And honeys, there's a reason why you do not see this man as much as you'd like to. Let me just pull back the veil a little bit and show you what Christmas morning looks like at our household. So of course we went through all of the usual festivities, Ty wrapping his gifts in newspaper, me showing off my basketball skills, and me having a true adult moment over the excitement that I showed when I got socks. What? Oh yes! <laughs> I told you I needed these! Oh, uh, socks! You know you're grown. But let's look at the reason why, like I said, you don't see my dad as much as you would want to. So. This is my dad after he gifted my mom Brazilian bum bum cream, and he thought that he was just the funniest guy on the face of the earth. So wait, what would you give for Christmas? Brazilian like, bum bum cream. <laughs> That's the best part of the whole thing. Did you order something from Amazon? I had a gift card from Wilson College. <laughs> like a money left home. Now, my dad's next Christmas trick, which is his signature, is that he guesses every single gift correctly before we open it. I'm gonna bet that that's a gift certificate to Takara. That's my guess. He did this when my parents were playing Santa. So he quite literally would look at the gift that was from Santa, name exactly what it was, and then we would open it. That is such risky business. What is it? A gift certificate to the car. <laughs> Way to ruin it! <laughs> and then, even in the moments where he's not spreading his holiday cheer, even in the moments when we can't hear him, he's still doing something like this. My eye, I can't close my eyes. <laughs> this man is insane. End of flashback. Hi, honeys. If you're new to the channel, my name is Emmy. I'm a nutritionist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program. It's very weird doing this standing here right now and not in front of my usual hun healthy honey sign, but I'm feeling it. And in the Slim on Starch program, you lose anything from the last five pounds to up to 70 pounds. We've had clients lose. And I also am very excited because I'm going to be holding a free online training at the beginning of January so that if you're watching this the day after Christmas, a few days after the holidays, and you're feeling like, mm -hmm right now don't worry honey i got you this is going to be the six steps to simplify plant-based weight loss so if you want to get started on a good foot and make the 20s the roaring 20s honey then make sure you click the link in the down bar to get a spot in the free training it's going to be on january 5th and 6th it's not both of the days it's you choose one day so i wanted to do it on two days so that you guys can choose the date that is best for you so make sure that you click the link in the down bar so that you can stop counting calories stop dieting stop the yo yoing stop feeling blue and start being free of the diet world losing weight and actually doing something that you want to do for the rest of your life now on to the fun stuff so today is christmas which means that we get to eat fun foods i wanted to talk about this because i find that a lot of people especially in the community that i am a part of feel a lot of guilt around this day because whether it be that they're eating the food and they feel guilty for eating the food because they feel sick they overate they binge whatever or they don't want to eat the food and then they feel guilty because they should be eating the food there's just so much anxiety around this day and it really should not be the case because it's christmas it's one of the best days of the year and so what we do inside my program i'm letting you guys in on this is we do something called creating your system and when you create your system you're allowing yourself to really enjoy these days and be present on these days and be present in the moments that are a part of life and christmas is one of those part of life moments you know your wedding your birthday Day, 
having a date night with your husband. These are all parts of your life that you want to be present for and enjoy. And so we want to craft a system for you that's gonna allow you to do that. Because the best plan for you, the best diet for you is the one that you can stick to in the long term. And if you can't stick to these crash diets because nobody can, then we've gotta change your system. So what I encourage my clients to do on these days is to ask themselves, when I look back on this event, what do I want to remember? And that's gonna allow us to determine, okay, what foods do I want to be a part of this event? If it's Christmas, do I want it to be cinnamon rolls? If it's my birthday, do I want it to be birthday cake? All right, so now we know what the food is. Now we can ask ourselves, when I go to bed tonight and when I wake up tomorrow morning, how do I want to feel? And that's gonna allow us to determine how are we gonna change those foods so that you don't feel sick, bloated, and gross that night the next morning and then wanna go on a juice cleanse the morning after. So for me and what I do, every day I'm eating whole foods plant-based, SOS free, unprocessed, very simple foods. You guys know my oatmeal, my potatoes, my squash, my grapes. That's my day-to-day -day thing. And then on days like this, when I look back on these days, I wanna remember having yummy foods and having bread, I love bread, but things that are really, really highly processed or have oil in them, no go for me. And I am vegan, so I'm not eating any animal products. So that just means that on these days, I'm having the fun foods, I'm having the bread, the stuffing, the cornbread, the nachos, but I make sure that everything is obviously vegan and is oil-free as well. And then with things like processed sugar, like I'll have a little bit of it. I actually don't know if I'm having any today, but I really do keep that to a minimum because I find that that just gives me such a sugar hangover and a headache. Um, you know, I saw vegan eggnog at the store and I was like, oh, vegan eggnog. But I was like, drinking that is really not gonna make me feel good. Just like all that sugar just straight into my body, uh, probably not gonna make me feel the best. And so you want to find the balance between those two things of what foods do I wanna eat and then what should I probably alter in those foods to make sure that I actually feel physically good at the end of the day. And then as far as setting limits for foods go, I say just eat as much as you want because if you say I'm only having one cupcake I'm only having one piece of bread you're setting yourself up for disaster you're setting yourself up for a binge so just enjoy it and then the next day maybe have some leftovers if that's something that you want to do or just go back to whole foods plant-based and keep on keeping on so I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm having for my oil-free vegan Christmas today and let's get into it all right we're showing our outfits. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't get the height in the family. All right, Ty. Classic Christmas shoes. And Ty got this wicked nice sweater today. It fits like a glove. Mm -hmm. These pants are BCBG. This top is H&M. And these shoes are Mums. And I think they're from Talbots. I would take them off and show you, but I have the world's ugliest feet. <laughs> and my earrings are from H&M. All right, if you're an OG honey, then you know that Nana purposefully forgets her line at the 12 days every year. Ty, will she forget it this year? I hope we don't do it at all this year. <laughs> Did you eat that? It's not vegan. All right, here's the game plan. Just got home from my aunt's house, did, or my uh, cousin's house, and I didn't really vlog there because privacy, you know? So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna get in some comfy clothes and then we're gonna get everything ready for supper and we're gonna do it up. All right, honey, the festivities are about to begin. So my mom's side of the family got us this. So sweet, right? And they said, Merry Christmas. We hope these fresh treats fit in the Healthy Honey rule book. <laughs> So funny, so I'm gonna put these out and we'll get started. So I've changed into something more comfy, into leggings in my Sherpa, because now I am obsessed with Sherpa. And I'm gonna show you guys what we're having. We're having a lot less food than we had for Thanksgiving, because my dad was like, we need either more people or less food. And now we have less people, so we definitely need less food. So let me show you everything. The pumpkin maple cornbread, as always. Cranberry sauce, which I don't care for, but I don't know, it's classic. Ty loves it. This is the Caesar salad, and I used the Minimalist Baker oil-free, or no, it's not oil-free. It's just the Minimalist Baker is Caesar salad. I mean, Caesar dressing, and then I just omitted the oil and the maple syrup, but other than that, it is super good. This is the oil-free vegan butter that I tried for Thanksgiving, and it like, actually, it ended up being bomb. <laughs> Yeah, let's hope it's still good this time. Mom made mashed potatoes, but they're a little 
They're a little shysty. Stuffing, oh, we love stuffing. Pro tip for the stuffing. If you are getting stuffing bread, normal stuffing bread, it's not going to be oil free. So just get a French baguette and make sure it's one from a bakery and they usually just use flour, water, yeast, and salt. And you can ask for the ingredients, but that's what we use for this. We just use French baguettes that I got from Stop and Shop or you can get them from like Wegmans or anywhere that has a bakery. My world's famous butternut squash mushroom risotto, which is just so good. This is something I give out on my master's program. And then in here we have chestnuts and then I'm gonna make up some nachos. Here's layer one of the nachos looking fly, fly. I made these corn chips. I just took corn tortillas and put them in the oven and now they are chips. Let me show you the anatomy of these nachos. And then I have some homemade queso from, you know, almond milk and nutritional yeast. And then I put some pico de gallo on and some black beans and some corn and some salsa. Here is my gorgeous plate. So I have a stuffing, the Caesar salad, risotto, cornbread, and then regular bread, which I'm probably gonna have a million pieces of regular bread over or under. And I think I'm gonna put this into the microwave and then I'm gonna have some nachos. So let's do it. Okay, so now we are going to do trivia. The trivia that I made is we have so we have so many sayings. <laughs> we have so many sayings in our family that when you say them to other people, you don't realize like Ty, like I feel like I say them to other people and I'm like, oh like my dad always says that. Like we have so many sayings like that that make sense to nobody else. And so that's the trivia is. you had the most wonderful Christmas and I'm closing out the video here. Make sure that you sign up for the free training that I'm holding and I will see you in my next video.